Okay, developers, welcome back. Did you know that creating your very own token is easier than you think? With very little coding, you can have your own token online in under five minutes. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your very own token and deploy it to Polygon Network. If you're new here, I'm Calvin Tora, and on Eat The Blocks, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. So to create a token, we need to write a smart contract. Now a smart contract is just a piece of code that runs on the blockchain. We are gonna use Remix to write our smart contract. It was created by the Ethereum team and it has everything we need to get this job done. Now head over to remix.ethereum.org and here under the contracts folder, create a new file. Call it whatever you feel relates to your new token. I'm gonna to use cowtoken.sol. Now smart contracts are written in a programming language called Solidity. But don't worry, we don't have to write our entire logic of our token from scratch. That can be time consuming and risky. Because remember, once we deploy anything to the blockchain, it will be there forever. So we don't want any careless bugs. And for this reason, we'll be using the Open Zeppelin library. Open Zeppelin is a smart contract library which has the code for common functions like creating a token or NFTs. These contracts have been tested for bugs and are used by most developers. So we're gonna to go to openzeppelin.com forward slash contracts, then click on get started. Now, if you Google a smart contract from Open Zeppelin, sometimes you'll find what you're looking for, but it might be the previous version. So up here, make sure you're using the most recent release. From the menu on the left, select ERC20. This is the name of the standard for creating a token. Now we'll just copy this code over to Remix. Now change the name of the contract to whatever you want. I'm gonna use cowtoken.sol. Now on line eight, the first option is the name of the token and the second option is the symbol or the ticker symbol, which is visible in your crypto wallet. I'm gonna put cowtoken here and then CAL for the ticker symbol. And that's all the coding that is required for our basic token. Now we need to compile this contract. So switch to the compile tab and click on compile your token name dot sol. Now we're ready to deploy our token, but first we need to connect our wallet to the Polygon network. Now there are a few ways to do this. You can visit polygonscan.com, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on the button at the bottom to automatically add the network to your MetaMask. Or you can manually open the wallet, click on the network selection dropdown and then click on add network. It will open up a whole new page. Here we can add Polygon mainnet in the network name field then we add the new RPC URL, 137 for the chain ID, Matic in the currency symbol field, and then the Polygon scan website in the block explorer URL field. Now that's done, we are ready to deploy our contract. Let's switch to the deploy tab in Remix. We'll choose the environment as injected web3, and this is gonna be controlled by our MetaMask wallet extension. Then choose the contract we want to deploy. The default showing here is not the token that we created. You have to click on this dropdown and then choose the correct file. Then we'll enter a initial supply of a hundred million. Then click deploy and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Take a note of how much it costs to deploy this token and take a wild guess on how much you think the same contract will cost on the Ethereum mainnet. Depending on how busy the network is, it might fail, but give it another go and then we'll head over to Polyscan and see our new deployed token. We can see the transfers that have been made for this token and we can see there is currently one holder and that is your wallet. That was a pretty cheap way to get our token on a popular chain like Polygon. Now, just a quick side note, if you are going to start working with Polygon and Matic, don't do what I did and buy Matic without doing some double checks. I bought a whole bunch of Matic from Coinbase I was in a rush and I didn't realize it was an Ethereum based version. I spent a lot of time looking for ways to send my Ethereum Matic over to the Polygon network. I found a bridge, but the fees were much more than I even had in Polygon tokens. In the end, I just gave up and I went to a place called MoonPay where I bought some Polygon Matic on the Polygon network. So before you buy, do your own research, make sure that the place that you buy it from allows you to get your tokens on the correct network. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.